Hello friends, so today in this video we are going to talk about effect of gyroscopic couple on naval ship during steering. Okay, so we will consider two cases over here. First one is steering, mistaking left or right turn, and the second uh, one is pitching. Okay, so in pitching, uh, the ship moves upward or downward. Okay, during uh, shipping. So before going to any, any of this topic, first of all, let us see what are the important points and uh, what are the terms used in a naval ship. Okay. Here these are the top and the front views of a naval ship. Okay, so this is the propeller. Here you can see that. Now it is seen from the stern or the rear end. Here stern is called the rear end. Okay, and the front view or the front side it is called the bow. And and in the airplane it was said to be nose and it was said to be tail. Almost it is same as the airplane. The working and the turning of uh, ship naval ship is same as the airplane. There is no more difference in between them. Okay, this is the axis of precision, and uh, this is the active of, uh, axis of active gyroscopic couple. So while it is turning, now here it is the rotor. It is rotating in clockwise direction as it is shown in this figure, but it could be taken as uh, anti-clockwise or clockwise according to the cases. Okay. Now one more thing. Suppose this is in this direction. Okay. So the left side is called port, and the right one side is called the starboard. So these are the two more important things. This is this will be used in th these terms are used in pitching. Okay. Now as we have seen in airplanes in the previous video that uh, we use gyroscopic uh, effect and uh, the couple. Uh, we study that gyroscopic effect in couple due to the reason that we want to know what will happen to its rear, its nose and tail and uh, how does it will um, affect the airplane that it will it will take it up or downward. Okay. But what will happen in the naval ship? That uh, there are many more reasons to study this. Okay, so first of all, the the gyroscopic gyroscopes are used for stabilization of ship. Okay, so this is the most important thing for using gyroscopes in uh, ships, and it uh, it can be used or applied to reduce rolling. So it could reduce rolling of the ship. So it will not allow to roll the ship. And it tries to reduce the amplitude of the oscillation of the ship. So it it also reduces the pitching of the ship. So these are the use of gyroscopes in ships. Now let us get back to our topic. Okay. So what happened to the gyroscope when it will take left turn or when it will take right turn? So it is same as the aeroplane. Say this is its uh, angular moment some vector. Okay. So this is the angular moment vector O x, and when it is taking left turn, then it will change its direction. From OX to OX dash, so this is the change. Okay, this is the active gyroscopic couple, and there, then there will be the reaction for that. So due to that reaction, uh, the ship will take left or right turn, or it will uh, raise or uh, dip. Okay, so here again in the ship, uh, what happens? It uh, it uses the right hand screw rule, and uh, the direction of ship and the action reaction are the same as the airplane. So I will explain to you in the same figure. So suppose again, this is the, uh, this is the ship, and it is taking uh, again it is taking left turn. Okay, now what will happen to its gyroscopic couples? Okay, so again this is the face, this is the direction in which it is moving. Now what will happen? This is again the direction. Now it is taking left turn. Okay, now again here is the active gyroscopic couple, and due to this active gyroscopic couple, the reaction will be upward direction. So due to that reaction, uh, what happened? The its uh, fore end or what is it? Bow. Its bow will uh, raise and its stern will uh, dip. Okay. So in this case, it was it is same as the airplane. Now again, what will happen if it take the right turn? Now when it is taking the right turn, then what will happen? Uh, it, the active gyroscopic couple is acting at its rear end or stern. Then due to that reason. Uh, the reaction will be in the upward direction to the uh, rear end, and the stern will move upward. Okay, so I write it down the both the cases. So while taking left turn, the rotor rotates. Uh, no, it it is the for the anti-clockwise direction. Okay. So I write it down again. Okay, so what will happen when uh, rotor rotates clockwise, and it is taking left turn. Okay, so while it is taking left turn again, uh, it's. Uh, Bow, uh, um, the active gyroscopic couple is acting downward, so its reactive, down, uh, reactive uh, gyroscopic couple will act upward. So due to that reason, its bow will raise. 
okay so bow will raise and stern will dip now again while it is taking right turn okay so it will do vice versa for that so bow will will dip and stern will raise if you haven't seen my video on airplane then i recommend you to watch that video before watching this okay because it is almost same as that now let us consider another case uh, while uh, while it is rotating anti clockwise and when it is seen from the front direction okay so the rotor is rotating clockwise direction and viewed from the front end or from the bow end okay so what will happen in that case the reactive gyroscopic couple will raise the stern okay raise the stern and this is stern and it will dip the nose or it will dip the front and that is bow so this is front and bow it will dip under the similar conditions when it is taking right turn okay in this case it was taking left turn and another case it will take right turn while it take right turn what will happen it will be the vice versa of that so when it is rotating clockwise clockwise from the front end okay so it will be like this now what will happen it will dip the stern and uh, raise the nose so here you have to just apply the uh, right hand thumb rule uh, right hand screw rule sorry and you will find out the answers okay i didn't explain much about this because i have already explained in the previous video so uh, please do check out that video now here comes the important part of the video we will talk about the scopic couple on naval ship during pitching then what happens to the ship while it while it pitching okay so what is pitching pitching is the movement of complete ship up and down in a vertical plane about the transverse axis and what is transverse axis this is the transverse axis about which it will pitch so it will go up and down up and down then what will happen to the ship while it is pitching so so during uh, pitching two things you need to consider first of all during pitching transverse axis is the axis of precision so uh, transverse axis transverse axis is the axis of precision about which it is precision okay and the second point is pitching of the ship is said to be simple harmonic motion about the transverse axis so it is assumed or uh, it is said to be simple harmonic motion okay so the time period will be t equal to pi uh, sorry t equal to pi over t s h m although i forgot that but uh, time period was 1.2 pi and root l by g so this was the equation for the simple harmonic motion okay so it will be in simple harmonic motion now what is the angular velocity of precision okay so omega p is equal to d theta by dt so i have already talked about uh, that angle theta okay so this is the d theta delta theta now so here theta angle is this is the theta angle about which it is pitching upward and this is pitching downward okay so from this we can obtain that uh, omega p equal to d theta over dt now here theta is equal to phi omega 1 cos omega 1 t so what is phi phi is this is phi okay so here theta is angular displacement angular displacement of the axis of spin from mean position after time t okay so this is the angular displacement of the axis of spin about uh, from mean position after time t and what is phi phi is the maximum and or the maximum angle turn from the mean position in radians okay or it is the amplitude simply you can say it as amplitude and it is the important it is important part in the numericals because amplitude is only given in the questions okay so for finding out the maximum value of omega p angular velocity of precision what would be uh, the value of phi omega 1 cos omega 1 t should be maximum and the value to be maximum what is the condition this should be equal to 1 so it should be 0 so it would be phi omega 1 or it could be equal to if we see it as omega p max is equal to phi 2 pi over t okay now what would be the maximum gyroscopic couple so the c max could be written as 
i omega omega p max okay and here we could put the value of omega p max from this place and we'll find out the maximum gyroscopic couple okay now how we could find out the maximum value of alpha alpha max now to find out the alpha max what is the formula phi omega 1 square and this is the maximum omega or sorry alpha okay this is the maximum angular acceleration and uh, now let us just talk about what will happen if uh, it is pitching upward okay so while it is pitching upward what will happen um, and what will happen if it's pitching downward pitching upward so while it is pitching upward and the ship will try to move towards the starboard or to the right side so while it is pitching upward it will try to move on the right side to the right side okay and while it is pitching downward pitching downward so this is the downward direction now what will happen it will tend to move to the left side okay and the left side is called port so in if when it is asking when it is asking the exam then don't try to it is will move to the left side you have to write down to the port side and for the above part it should be to the starboard okay so this is it thank you for watching if you like this video then give a thumbs up and do share this video and don't forget to 